Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today is going to be teardown time of the Kramer. Yeah, and uh, gonna store these parts. So I got some plastic bags, and let's begin. So it looks like right here there's a small crack. Doesn't look like it's gone too far. It stops right there. So we'll see how that is. Neck is pretty straight. So I'm gonna check these frets out. Hopefully I don't have to do refretting. We'll check them out anyways. Get that sticker off of there. Get these tuners off. Check the inside of this pocket over here. Alright, that looks like it's just a stress crack in the finish. There's no crack on this side here either. So again, another stress crack in the finish. very minimal movement when I go ahead and put some pressure on it but I will take care of that as well. Put this off to the side. Focus on this right now. These are all pretty loose. I can unscrew them by hand. All right, so these say Kramer on the back of them. Looks like the washers in between the pegs, Looks like they're good. They don't seem to be too weird. Look at all that. Look at all that. Look at all that rubbing compound. And these will get a good cleaning. We use. Try to keep this thing as original as possible. Now on some of these washers, all right, there is a right way and a wrong way to put these washers on before you put your mount on, your nutting, your nut on for the mount. I don't know if you can see this or not, but the bottom of this is flat. The top of it has a slight taper, like a rounded edge on it. You always want to keep the flat bottom to the uh, headstock and the rounded side, it's kind of like a decorative side to the top. Always keep your tools at arm reach. All right, so I got my glasses on. Did a couple of tests over here. One to see if this Kramer logo was silk screened on the top of the clear, and it is not. So I'm gonna be able to do a little bit of a touch up with some black paint on this and still save that Kramer logo, which is gonna be great. Now, I did notice a little bit of cracking right here, which, Let's see any movement. And it's kind of an odd crack as well, so I wonder if it's just a finish thing or what. But when I clean out the hole over here, get some of that uh, rubbing compound out of there, I'll be able to see a little bit better what's going on there. It doesn't look like there's any type of a problem. Fretboard looks pretty good, just a little dirty, a little grimy. A little rubbing alcohol would take care of that and clean it up really nice. The fretboard, as far as being dented or anything goes, it looks all right. Doesn't look too bad. They cleared the side of the fretboard, which is not a big deal. And you can see the tang kind of produce, produce, ah, protruding a little bit on the sides of the fretboard, which we have to oil the fretboard and sand sand this down so it's nice and flat. Um. Other than that, there's a few little dings on the, the neck or the headstock one there. One over here and a couple over here, which I'm going to take care of as well. Looks like this is a one, two, three, four, 
the four piece neck. It's got some real nice bird's eye maple in the center. Real nice. They didn't carry it through the whole thing. Alright, so looking at the frets here. Uh, yeah. I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to have to straighten out. I mean, the fretboard is pretty straight as it is, but I need to go ahead and check to see with the straightening ruler how straight it is. And uh, can I hit the rocker on these frets? I know they're going to be all over the place. I can kind of tell. There's some denting in the fret, but it's not as bad as, not as, bad as I thought it would be. So yeah, one thing I want to do, as I've already noticed by looking inside the truss rod hole, that the truss rod is pretty, pretty rested. So I'm going to kind of, a couple drops, that's stupid thing, heat that thing, a couple drops of oil, side there before I try to crank down on that truss rod. This will kind of loosen up. So I'm gonna, what I'm doing with the air is I'm kind of forcing the oil down in there. And then I'll kind of loosen up or help with the truss rod as far as being able to turn it. Because it is kind of rusted here. This stupid thing just goes, goes on this. At least that's what it's supposed to do. And then you put your cap on here. There you go. This stuff is great. Gets in there like tight places. Um, you can use it on your bridge. You can use it on your nut if you want to. If you believe that uh, you know you need some type of a secret nut sauce or whatever. If you don't file your nuts properly. But yeah, this is kind of nice. So. Not being a silk screen over the headstock, I'll be able to sand it like I already just did. I can see there's kind of some scratches and I want to check to see if this was. But if I can't get some of these deeper scratches out of it, I'm going to have to do a complete respray and then probably get a hold of Jeff, more than likely, get a hold of Jeff and get one of these decals. So the fretboard on this is a 20 inch radius, not that big of a deal. Um, they're just pretty flat. You know, it's a pretty flat fretboard. I don't think I have a 20 inch uh, radius block, so I'm going to have to look into that. The frets on the edges aren't too bad, but like I said, I can feel the frets kind of detained, kind of protruding a little bit through the sides of the fretboard. You can kind of, kind of see it if I get it in the light the right way. You might be able to see the, the fret is, the way the light's bouncing off of when the finger's at. It might be like a little bit of a hump. All in all, this part of it is not bad. Not bad at all. And uh, yeah, so there's a little bit of denting going on in the back of the neck. Not much. It feels like it's mostly clear coat, which this is going to get all re-cleared anyways. This neck is going to get all refinished. If the frets don't come out the way that I want them to after I do a uh, crowning on them, you know, doing a leveling and a crowning, if they don't come out the way I want them to, they will get new frets. And there is a thing of having like too little of a fret. So I make sure that I have enough meat on these guys to where I can level and crown them. So that might be a little bit of a difficult, but. No, she's not bad.